Now let's look at how you can save the report once you've got the insight. All you need to do is click on Save. Select a board that you would like to add your report to. My report got saved to my own board by default. You can also go back to your board and then decide how you want to share that with your team or with your, with your colleagues. With Mixpanel, you can also export your data into a PNG or a PDF. And with the Insights report, not only do you get a number, but you can view the users who satisfy the criteria of that metric. So if I simply click on this bar, it will give me the option to view users, to create a cohort of those users, and also export it as a CSV. Once you've saved your Insights report, you have the ability to create an alert. Alerts allow you to automate your work and get notified around specific trends with respect to your most important metrics. Click on the three dots at the top of your screen and go to the Create Alert feature. Uh-oh, so you are not able to create an alert until you've saved your report. Now that my report is saved, the uh, Create Alert module is available to use. Click on Create Alerts and select one of two different type of alerts that you'd like to create. The first alert is that of an anomaly detection, which essentially allows you to detect any major surges or drops outside of your expected range. Once you select a specific confidence, simply decide how often you would like to be alerted and where you would like to be notified, either via email or Slack. The second type of alert that you can create with Mixpanel is when you want to be notified when your metric crosses above or below a certain threshold defined by you or increases or decreases by a certain percentage compared to the previous day. Like the anomaly detection, you simply decide how often you want to be alerted and where you would want to receive this alert. Alerts can be managed within your own personal settings once you've created the alert. Happy exploring insights!